All right, let's take a look at the new patch notes. We finally have a new update after what feels like a month. But for you guys to check it out, uh, three new regions have been added to the Varak Mountains. Very nice. Uh, we're no longer going to be gatekeeped at Tamlin. We're going to be gatekeeped at the newest map. So uh, let's check it out. So we have the Varak uh, Ravine. We have the, the Northern Varak Mountains and the top of Short Legs. Oh, interesting. I think this might open up the new Scramble map as well. Freya's Road and Pilgrim's Path. These units are quite high level, but uh, I'm seeing some of these new bosses. So um, I'm going to do another whole video covering all these new boss drops because I know that this Griffin drops a really nice plus 20 charisma item. So I'll be maybe checking out that out later for some more videos. But until then, yeah, uh, these new bosses, they look quite strong, especially the level range as well. So do be careful. Uh, the newest one, uh, Britain Alliance, uh, level 217. Um, this one is kind of quite high because currently my level is, I'm on level 198. Therefore, I don't think I can even, I can even uh, take on this map currently right now. But regardless, uh, that, that's very nice to know. That note, that means that I can still level and there's still something like, good thing that they didn't just release one map. So they released like five maps this time. So very nice. So we got a bunch of different places to grind for XP. And it's going to take me a little bit before I can get to Pilgrim's Path. So good to know. A uh, Black Fragment you may attain while finding new monsters in these regions will be used as one of the materials to craft the legendary tier 5 uh, Asisha's equipment. So if you guys don't know what that gear is, it's currently a craftable T5 gear within the Blacksmith. I can pull up real quick. Uh... Move off. So here's what we get, right? So we have the um uh Alicia's plated armor. It requires the it's a T5 gear. T5 gear is really nice. Uh, as you can see right here, the physical the base physical defense alone is already better than my plus 16 customized T4 gear. 3,574. Oh, oh wait, never mind. It's because this one is the Full, fully focused physical defense. Okay, now that makes a lot more sense. I'm pretty sure there is one that is quite the balance. Oh, there you go. There is a light arm. So if we take a take comparison, this one is a much more better comparison. Yeah, but still, this one's pretty good. I mean, look at this. This is a T5 gear, and this is a T4 that is plus 16 and customized. And this is only 300 and 500 defense down. Yeah, this tier five is definitely a huge upgrade because imagine if I get this plus 16 and customize this, that would be like 5,000. Like it probably be up that high. A uh, new T5 gear does require 64 uh, agility for scoffer anyways, for warriors gonna be strength and then charisma and stuff like that for wisdom for mages. So um, look at the, if we look at the defense line, it doesn't look like a big improvement. It's only plus three more stats and then an additional 2% increase. I mean, it's not too big of a defense. It's not too big, but then again, um, every every point is something, right? So, yeah, let's take a look at the options now. Because this is totally craftable, because now we can farm the Black Fragment, and plus, Superior Iron iron Ingot, this one's very easy to get, along with the Orange Lunarium. This, uh, there's only six, very easy. The Black Fragment is the main one that, that we do need to start grinding for right now, so... And then the twilight mat the twilight magic course can be obtained through uh let me go here you can actually craft it in your accessory crafting right so where is it other there you go it is three purple three poison mist can get you one twilight magic so so yeah so honestly dude tier five is totally possible to craft now with the release of the with the release of the um monster that dropped the black fragment tier five is right now 100 percent craftable so um you should be working on tier five gear if you have full set of tier four like me but if not you honestly just just chill i will still try to get um i'll still try to get the craft t4 gear t4 are quite nice still because trust me tier five is going to take quite a, it's going to take a lot it's probably going to take you three months instead of one month to get that t4 so something to keep out for uh some new debuffs here no idea what that is uh, new quest. Okay, obviously new quest in region, of course. Our main quest, we can progress more. Uh, new monsters. Technically, they say new monster, but they're all the same. We we all had this before. All these monsters have the same effect. Same thing. Uh, what did you get here? By defeating monster in new field, you may be, you may be able to loot legendary T4. So, uh, legend T4 now is a current drop. So, let's take a look at the legend T4 gear. Let's actually uh, compare it. Let's pull up the database to compare it. So, give me a minute. 
All right, I got the database pulled up and now we just need to let's go check it out. Um, if you guys, you guys should definitely uh check out database. Um, database was made by um, I forgot who made this database, honestly. Oh, uh, Cerity, I believe, but yeah, uh, it's a really nice database that's being pulled out. So definitely check it out. So what you can do is you just copy this link right here and then you go control F, paste this in and resolve. So let's take a look at the, this is a database of all the possible option rules, of course, agility, charisma, constitution, debuff upon hit. Oh, okay. This is new. Uh, this is something that was not here before. We currently, this is currently impossible to roll, well, but just to be sure, actually, uh, we should probably go to the letter helmet because that's a much easier comparison. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So I still have the debuff upon hit. All right. So let's me go to here. Uh, let me just, I don't know, why the heck is this so big? Let me just, can I not make this smaller? What? Hello? All right, whatever. This will have to do for now. Uh, let's go take a look at my helmet, right? So unequip this, unequip gear, unlock it. Let's go to modify options. All right. So as you can see, this is current option, right? It's physical defense, physical vision rate, HP regen, XP cost. Very shit. I mean, not, I mean, I shouldn't say shit. I mean, it's very average damage defense you know but compared to the new one the new t4 alert helmet why does it have a much better stat it has debuff upon hit two percent and then uh then debuff debuff on hit also three percent to four percent that's interesting um this is definitely this is honestly pretty good this is definitely pretty good especially for invasion sculptors because um if even though um if they were hit us and it's a miss it still have a chance to trigger this debuff upon hit so that is something new which is really nice on this armor agility plus five yeah everything else look, look pretty much the same intelligence magic defense magic invasion yep goes up to four to five percent that's normal physical invasion four to five percent yeah so it looks like the it looks like the um uh the, the arcsons letter helmet it it just added this this new set the deep buff upon hit so i mean i don't know how strong this stat uh this uh this buff is but because it's blind but then it honestly it could be pretty good in pvp i i don't think it's that good in pve but pvp wise this might be pretty good so i'll definitely look more into it and if it is good i'll make it i'll make a video about it but regardless uh looks like overall it looks like your standard set it, it's uh in term of option is is equivalent to um it does have Wait a minute. Does that have damage defense? It doesn't have damage defense. No way. No damage defense. That's the best stat on a helmet. Let me double check. There's no way, right? Oh, never mind. I take that back, yo. This helmet does not have damage defense. Damage defense is probably one of the most best options for any helmet. Because currently the uh, turn this off. Currently our T4 helmet does have a damage defense of four to five percent. So yeah, um the crafted T4 is actually superior in terms of options because it has damage defense, but it doesn't have the blind. But then again, um, I'll look more into that later. But regardless, this is your gear. Uh, I currently I do not know the base stat of ooh, maybe I maybe I can maybe someone has it right let's go take a look uh nope I doubt people have this already but who knows it might uh weapon bow arrow stab you hand a sword yeah I don't think anyone has it all right the drop rate might be pretty pretty low so yeah but overall um it doesn't seem too bad but then again just keep in mind um the t the t4 uh the one that you craft the uh was it the hermit is it a hermit or is it uh oh the hurled <laughs> yeah so the hurled yeah um the t4 craft is much more better in term of uh options right because we have damage defensive options on it which the other helmet does not have so um if you want to know more about the database uh, make sure to join our discord if you join our discord you can go up here once you join our discord you will probably be welcome into the welcoming channel right here and i will just type in a welcome and then you want to go to your mobile games and you want to go up and select the moonlight sculpted role and then once you get that you can see all of the uh, you can see all the moonlight sculpt channel don't worry all the other channels you won't be able to see it this is just for other games channels but go to moonlight library and it has all these useful links especially all the database that is provided by serity so keep that in mind all right, moving on.
What's next? So I was T4 guy. I mean, not bad. I mean, the, the letter looks kind of shit, not going to lie. But I do like the armor, though, for this one. <laughs> the mage look even the mage look even worse. <laughs> oh shit! I right, was next. Uh, mineral water don't care. New codex ah uh, yeah of course event uh some freaking pay to win events I'll cover that in another video. Uh shop yeah they added some really nice packs but then again it's I can't afford it it's way too expensive I don't think I'll be spending money on this game anymore. Uh fix issue. Yeah, just some nice issue fix. And, of course, fix an issue where players are in a one and couldn't receive guild scrambles. They need that. I need my scram rewards. Uh, I've been dying to get it. Yeah, overall, uh, this patch is pretty nice. This is probably the um the biggest patch so far, I think, besides the one from last month. So, this one's not bad. Um, This introduced quite a bit of region. So, this will keep us company until we hit level 226 plus. So, should definitely keep us company for quite a bit. Keep us occupied. So overall, this is a quick review of the patch notes. Um, I, I can cover more of each section in more details later on in the videos. So if you have any more questions, leave in the comments below and I'll get to it when I have time. Also, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.